Miss Sherry. I am wrapping Lily's gift so that we can mail it to her. We've already got one done. Send her a few messages. We miss you. We love you. And a little smiley face there. So we're going to do the same thing to this one so that we can get these in the mail today. last week they weren't home. Right. Hopefully he's home today. But you know, last, the week before last, we studied about Samson. Right. And so we got him a soggy dog game because we thought that Samson, when he got his hair wet, probably went like this and yep. shook his hair and to dry it a little bit because his hair was really long. I've seen some guys do that and some girls. Right. But because it's a soggy dog and it's a wet game, we also got him a towel. Gonna need to dry and off. AC needs to dry off. So are you ready? We're ready. Here we go. Is Hudson home today? Yes. We're here to see Hudson. Where's he at? <laughs> Being afraid. Hudson's a little young. Maybe he's just being a little shy. Hi, Hudson. Hi, Hudson. It's, it's, it's Miss Becky. See? It's Miss Becky. But we have to have these on today because that's what the government says. Okay, It's the mask. Okay, but we're here and we got you a prize. You're the big winner. You want to come and get your prize? We'll step back and let you come get it. We got you a soggy dog. Oh, don't forget your towel. That's a You'll towel. need your towel too. And it's a soggy dog game. <laughs> He's a little bit shy. Thank you. All right. You. You're welcome. Well, kids, it's good to see you again. Oh my goodness. We were here last week, but you were on vacation. Did you see that? Yeah, and you were home. Well, we were so excited that got to come back and see you again. Is there anything you want to tell your friends at church? I miss you guys. All right. Well, we've got a lot to do today. This segment was to be continued and it's now complete. We're so excited. You'll have to play the soggy dog game with Hudson and show him how it works. Okay. Well, kids, we're gotta go. We got another present to deliver. So it's time for us to head, but we're so sad. And maybe soon we can get back to church, okay? All right. Guys later. Well, everybody wave at the camera. Bye. Oh, thank you, Dylan. Oh, that's so precious. That is so precious. I miss you so much. You have a good day, hon. Be careful climbing those trees. Oh my, isn't that beautiful? I, I am so loved. Oh, thank you very much. I love it when I get hugs. Oh my goodness. Well, kids, we're on our way to the post office to mail Lily's gift. All right, we're at the post office. We've got Lily's things ready. Now we're gonna go in and drop them off. See you in a minute. That's right. Be ready, Lily. It's on the way. Dylan, what are you doing, buddy? You're climbing a tree. Well, you don't know what you were. You were in a sycamore tree. Do you know that reminds Miss Becky of a story? You know what that story is? It's about a man named Zacchaeus. 
he climbed up in a sycamore tree because who do you think he wanted to see? He wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus. Well, you know what? I'm going to go tell kids a story about Zacchaeus. Uh, you want to come and go with us? Sure. All right. Alan, get out of that tree. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think you got caught. <laughs> Be careful. Come on down. Let's go see about Zacchaeus. Well, good morning, kids. I hope you're wide awake, and I hope you're ready for a really good story. My goodness, this is a one of the, this is one of Miss Becky's favorite stories in the whole Bible. Kind of, sort of. There's a lot of my favorite, but this is one of them. Well, this week our lesson is about somebody that really went out of their way to see Jesus. They wanted to see him so much. Well, Jesus had been going from town to town to town, and he had been healing the sick, and he had been performing miracles, and he had been telling parables, which is a story. He had been telling stories about how much God loved them and giving people scenarios in the stories about different things that they should be doing in their life. And people started talking everywhere about Jesus and what a wonderful person he was and what a wonderful follower of God he was and everybody wanted to go as quick as they could and see Jesus. Well, Jesus was on his way to a town called Jericho. And as he entered Jericho, guess what? All of the people from everywhere in Jericho knew that he was going to be coming. So they ran to see this Jesus that they had heard about. They had been hearing all of these things and they were excited to see him. Kind of like we are when a famous rock star or, or maybe a ball team comes into our area. We want to go see them too, don't we? Well, this was Jesus, and he was so important back then, and everybody wanted to go see him. Well, today our story, if you want to follow along with me, it's, it's kind of a short story in our Bible, but it's in Luke. Remember, Matthew, Mark, Luke, Matthew, Mark, Luke, the third book in the New Testament. And we're going to look at chapter 19 verses 1 through 10 today and it's going to tell us the whole story so if you want to follow along you're welcome to follow with me the story reads jesus entered jericho and was passing through a man was there by the name of zacchaeus he was a chief tax collector and was very wealthy he wanted to see who Jesus was. Apparently, he had heard about Jesus too, huh? But being such a short man, he could not because of the crowd. There were people everywhere. Well, you know, Miss Becky isn't real tall either. And I'm sure a lot of you aren't real tall. And when you're in a room with a bunch of adults, it's kind of hard to see and you have to look around and go through everybody's legs and look around everywhere or get on your tippy toes or climb up on something to see. Well, Zacchaeus was that way. He was short, kind of like Miss Becky. I get frustrated when I sit in the back of the church sometimes and everybody stands and I'm looking this way and looking this way, trying to see around so I can see the the words on the screen sometimes so i kind of know how zacchaeus felt and i bet you do too well he wanted to see who jesus was but being so short he could not because of the crowd so he ran ahead and he climbed up a sycamore tree or it was a fig tree a type of fig tree to see him since jesus was coming that way well when jesus reached the spot where Zacchaeus was, he looked up in the tree and he said to him, Zacchaeus, 
Come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. Of all of the people, Jesus was going to Zacchaeus' house. Well, right there was a miracle because apparently Zacchaeus didn't know Jesus. He had just heard about him. And Jesus didn't personally know Zacchaeus. But you know what? He knew Zacchaeus immediately. He said, so he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people that saw this began to mutter. He, he has gone to be with a guest of a sinner. Well, remember what we talked about last week? I said, Pastor Gary does a lot. We look to our left and see the people, and we look to our right and see the people, and he says, well, now you've seen a sinner. That means we all are sinners. Well, the people couldn't understand that at the time, and they couldn't believe that Jesus, the perfect person, was going to, to a sinner's house that day. But Zacchaeus stood up when he heard the people, and he said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, remember Zacchaeus was a tax collector, and tax collectors were known for cheating people. They would take maybe $5, and their taxes might have only been three. And so the other two, they would put it in their pocket and steal. And people knew how tax collectors were. That's why they weren't real happy when Jesus was going to a sinner's house. Well, you know, they didn't realize they were sinners too, did they? Well, Zacchaeus says, I will pay back four times the amount if I have cheated anyone. Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to his house. That means he knew he'd done wrong. Zacchaeus did. And, God, and Jesus said, knew that Zacchaeus had done wrong and that he had asked, and forg asked forgiveness for that. Because this man, too, is a son of Abraham. Now, our verse I want you to remember for today is Luke 19.10, our very last verse. It says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that who was lost. You know what that means? That means that Jesus came to this earth to save us. We all are sinners and we all are lost. But all we have to do is A, admit that we're a sinner, that we know that we do wrong, and sometimes we don't mean to do wrong and we do wrong. Some people mean to do wrong and they do wrong. But admit we're a sinner. B, believe. Believe that Jesus came to die for our sins. And C, confess. Confess, dear Jesus, please forgive me because I know I'm a sinner and I know that I've done wrong. And then what did we say D was? Decide, decide to follow Jesus the rest of our life and try not to do bad. And if we accidentally do bad, ask him to forgive us from that each time. You know, kids, it's a short lesson today, but it's a very important lesson. Remember, Jesus one knows us. He knew Zacchaeus. And no one even knew that he knew Zacchaeus. Even Zacchaeus didn't know that he knew him. But Jesus knows us. The Bible says that Jesus, God, knows every hair in our head. He knows everything about us. He knows our name. He calls us by name, the Bible says. But you know what? It was such a wonderful day for Zacchaeus. And you know, it can be a wonderful day for us to just ask Jesus into your heart today. So let's all bow our heads and close our eyes.
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day you've given us. Thank you, God, for all you do for us. Dear Jesus, we want to thank you for coming and dying for our sins. And dear Jesus, we want to remember that if we need to ask you into our heart, all we do is admit that we're a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me, Jesus. Be, I believe in you, Jesus, and I know that you will forgive me. And I know that no matter what I do, if I ask forgiveness, you will forgive me. And see, Lord, I confess you as my Savior forever and ever. And Jesus, I'm going to decide to follow you the rest of, day, of my days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, kids, be ready. Something really neat's next. Hey, kids, today we're here with our experiment. Now, we are not sure that this is going to work, but we're definitely going to give it a try. So, we have two containers, eggs that are not boiled, Sprite, Skittles. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eggs, and we're gonna put one in each dish. And we're gonna do this two different ways. Because again, when we looked up the experiment, wasn't really sure how to do it exactly. So we're gonna do our own thing and see what happens. So could be a fail, could work really well. So you put your eggs in, then we're gonna take our Sprite, and we're gonna fill each container over the egg. Okay. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right. So we have six Skittles, six red Skittles that we're going to put in each container. So we're going to cover them over. And we are going to wait for 24 hours to see what happens. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Okay, kids, we are back with our experiment. Now, 24 hours we said it would take to do our experiment. Well, we checked yesterday at 24 hours, and it didn't seem that anything happened. So we waited an additional 24 hours. So altogether, we have waited 48 hours to see if our experiment's going to work. We had one in the refrigerator and we had one sitting on the counter. So let's check the one on the counter first. So as you can see, our water has turned to pink or red from our red Skittles. And our egg is kind of dyed as well. And it's kind of making a film on it, but I don't think it works. So we're gonna crack this egg open and see what it looks like on the inside. Nope. So in our experiment, our original experiment, this the yellow part was supposed to be clear and the yolk was going to be red. So sitting on the counter, that one didn't work. Let's try the one we put in the refrigerator. And it's cold. And as you can see, the red is rubbing off. I'm gonna shake it and I think I'm gonna crack it. I think we're gonna have the same results. Yep, the same results. So our experiment this week did not work. You know what kids, that reminds me that sometimes we have plans and there are times when even though we think it's a great idea, it doesn't work. But you know, God always has a plan and again, his plans may look different than our plans and that's okay. So sometimes when we're planning and we do all the right things, it just doesn't work out. But as you can see, we still have two eggs and we will try something again next week. Hey guys, today I'm here with our family fun activity. So we're gonna make bird feeders. So we're outside, we've got a tree close by. So we're gonna make a couple uh, acorn, or I'm sorry, a uh, pine cone bird feeders and then we're gonna hang them in the trees for the birds to eat so it's something fun most of this stuff should be kind of laying around so I have bird seed you can use any kind I just picked this up peanut butter 
and I have an acorn and some string, or I'm sorry, a pine cone. I keep saying acorn, it's a pine cone. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do, first thing is we're gonna take our string and put it around our pine cone so that we can tie it into the tree. So I'm gonna tie that up. Oh, make a little knot here so it'll stay on the cone. And then as you can see, I've got a long string on this one and a short string on this one. So our pine cones are now ready. So the next thing we're gonna do is take our peanut butter and you can use any kind of peanut butter. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna slather it all around. And if you like peanut butter, you might can take a lick of it too, but the sherry does not like peanut butter. So I've got it all the way around. And then we're gonna roll it in our bird seed like this. And then if you watch, we're gonna come over here and hang it in the tree. All right, so there's your homemade. Let's do it one more time just so since I have another one and we'll hang it on the other tree on the opposite side, but there you go, an easy way to feed nature. All right, let's look at the second one. One more time, got our pine cone. I've got a short string on it this time. Let's roll it in peanut butter. We're gonna make sure it gets all around so it's ooey and gooey and all messy because that's fun. Messy's fun, right? Mom doesn't think so, but it's fun, right kids? Alright, so now we're gonna roll it around on our plate and cover all that peanut butter up. Alright, see? Now, let's go over here and hang it on the tree. All right, I can't wait to see when the kids, what happens with our bird feeders. Try it at home. I thought it would be neat to go see someone at their work today. That Jesus, sounds awesome. Jesus went to Zacharias' house. Right. But most everybody I know is at work. Right. So we decided, I decided, <laughs> that it might be more fun to go to somebody's work and let them draw the name for next week. Just so, like in the song. Just like coming to your house today. That's right. That's awesome. Right. So we are, we are heading to her workhouse. Awesome. Because you know they say work is like your second home. Right. Actually, I think work is like your first home because you're there more than you're off home. Right, that's true. But yep. that's okay. So we're headed that way. Everybody be right. ready. We'll be there in a minute. It's going to be a surprise. Miss Maria, you're here. We're here. Good to see you. Hi, and our story Miss Maria is about to come out. Oh, no. Miss There she is. Oh, Miss Frida, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad we got to visit you today. Yes, the kids are so excited to see all of the visitors, and you're oh. a visitor today. Cool. Well, today Very our nice story fun. has been on. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Oh, man. And it's so, if it is a more tree, uh -oh. for the Lord, he wanted to see. That's oh. right. And then after. The Lord said, Zacchaeus, come down. We're going to your house today. Right? Well, we're coming to your house today. Well, most everybody works, and it's hard to catch them at home. So we thought it would be nice to come to your home at work. Oh, yeah. Because I'm sure you stay here a lot too, right? right. Yes, I do. Okay. I do. Well, we thought it would be nice to have you draw our names. Okay. Cool. So can you draw our names to our child? 
Better be watching. It'll be in the mail on its way to you. And I want to see a picture when you get that. That's right. We want to see a picture of you and of you playing the game with your family. Right. All right. How'd you like the lesson today? Great lesson today. I uh, love the story of Zacchaeus. Oh my. I know. We've been singing it around here all day, but don't tell anybody. I'll be singing that for all week now. <laughs> oh my, and Miss Sherry, that was such a good family fun activity. Really Making easy. Making a bird feeder. Oh, right. that's something. We can do that because I have bird feeder, our bird seed, and I have peanut butter, and we can put that on just about anything and hang it outside. Anything. If you want something from nature, you can find a pine cone. If you want something, uh, maybe that's at your house that's more accessible and you have an empty paper towel or toilet paper roll, those work great too. Hang them up in a tree. And you really don't need yarn. You could use fishing line yep. or just string of yep. any kind. Any kind. Yeah, that would be so fun. And birds love them. Right? Love them. It was so great to see Miss Marita today. Yeah, hey, she kids, what about that? Litter. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, that was so fun. I'm glad to see Miss Marita too. It's so good to see all the people from church. We miss everybody so much. Right. Okay, kids, don't forget. Music up top. And the cover issue. Yep. That's right. And last but not least, we can't forget. Can't forget. Don't forget. What are we going to do? We're going to wash our hands. hands. And say, say our prayers, prayers because germs and Jesus, Jesus are everywhere. everywhere.